Hello, good evening, and welcome to Salina Intermediate School, where tonight on WOSN, we've got a Western Buckeye League matchup between the visiting Shawnee Indians and the homestanding Salina Bulldogs. My name's Gar Garrett Seawright. I'm joined alongside by Nate Garlock, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Salina. Got two of the better teams in the WBL here, Nate, uh, ready to tango in this varsity matchup. Yeah, huge co uh, conference matchups here in the WBL. You have Salina, the two-time defending champs, uh, right now sitting at 1-1 one and one here in the young conference play. And then Shawnee off to a tremendous start, 6-1 and one overall, undefeated, um, sitting at tie up top the WBL with two other teams at 2-0. and oh. So a big conference matchup here early for both these teams. Yeah, you mentioned Shawnee, 6-1, and one, their lone loss in five sets to Coldwater, a team who has state championship aspirations. So outside of that thrilling five-setter, uh, Shawnee unblemished so far this season, where Salina got off to a slow start. They started the season right off with conference play against St. Mary's and dropped a 22-game WBL winning streak in the season opener. And since his rebound with 2-1 at the Parkway invite, grabbed a victory over Versailles Van Wert, and unfortunately dropped a match against Fort Recovery on Tuesday night here in the Salina Intermediate School Gymnasium. Salina finishing up a five-game home stance, five straight at home. This is the last one for Salina as Michaela Stoner will serve it away to get us going. Yeah, looking forward to matchup tonight between Miley Sapp and Kelly Cooper. There you see Ava Kanapke to swing and the kill just inside the line for the first point. And you're right, Nate, uh, Kelly Cooper, one of Miley Sapp and Kelly Cooper are going to be some of the front runners for Western Buckeye League Player of the Year, and we're going to see them both tonight. As that ball's tipped over, dug out by the Bulldogs as Leah Russo gave it a, just a tip. Shawnee able to keep it alive from the back row. Carly Hutchins gives it a cut. Allison Schreeder in the bump. Swung over by Bangy. Dug out by the Indians. Swing from the middle from Mackenzie Brickner. Bulldogs running and chasing. Get it back over. Freiberger. The pass. Dug out. Long rally for both sides here. Kira Bangy on the far side. Tucked it just inside the line. So two for two on getting it right in the perfect placement for Solana here early. And I think this is what we can expect to see. Is I don't think this one's going to be a quick one tonight. Lots of long rallies as both of these teams, so much talent on both sides of the net. Michaela Stoner, a 5'8 senior, continues to serve. Dug out from the back row by Shawnee. Dumped over in the campfire in the perfect spot by the Indians. As Addison Maxwell put it right in the great in the perfect spot. Yeah, just a great lay by, that, by Maxwell that time. Had an opening on the floor, didn't try to do too much with it. And sometimes those easier balls to get over the net are the best ones. You know, double contact. On the Bulldogs, which knots us up at two. With Grace Freiberger, the libero for Shawnee serving. She leads in both digs and aces for the Indians and stings that one just over the top of the tape for the ace. Great opening serve for Freiberger. 14, now 15 aces on the season. As she has a tremendous serve back there, really sets things up for the Indians. Yeah, just got it over the top of the net, that one. Knuckleball in the back corner. Banging the swing from the far side. Hutchins from behind the 10-foot line. Great dig by the Bulldogs. Dumped over. Kept alive by Shawnee. They'll try it as well. Quick set to Kanapke off of Indian and down. Kanapke put a little extra on that one. She was set up real nice. Not much the Indians could do with that one. Ava Kanapke averages just under three kills a set. Second for the Bulldogs is Allison Schwederman, the libero for Solana serves. As Kelly Cooper will take a run and cut, and there's just not a whole lot you can do about that. And you see why Cooper has so many kills so far this season and why she's so dangerous, especially on the offensive side of things. Gets a little bit of a run that time and just buries that one in the corner. 4-3 on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Quick set to Miley Sapp. She'll climb the ladder. Blocked at the net by Cooper. Joust won by Shawnee to grow the lead. He mentioned Miley Sapp and Kelly Cooper will go on it at the net. You saw it right there. The first one won by Kelly Cooper. Bangy from the outside. Indians got a fingertip on it. Hutchins behind a 10-foot line. Gets it off a of Bulldog and down. Nice power that time from Hutchins. Playing that back line. Got that one 
with a little bit of extra on it. And you get the point for Shawnee. And Rita Sill serves and gives the point to Solana. 6-4. The score now is the Bulldogs. Got out to that 2-0 lead, now trailing by two. As Haley Kaiser serves for the Bulldogs. Cut on it by Sidney Burris of Shawnee. Sap in the middle. Had to just get a fingertip on it. Pass tipped wide and it'll go down on the floor. The time it was Maxwell coming from the outside. Say, from where we sit here at Salina, it's a little tough to pick up who's on the right side of your screen and the bottom of the tape is right through the numbers of some players. So it's a little difficult, but Maxwell the kill and she'll drop back to serve. Knuckleball in the middle of the back row for the ace. So after getting out to a slow start, everything going Shawnee's way. Eight to four, the score. Maxwell continues to serve. That one a little sidewinder. Kaiser, quick set to Sapp, dug out by Freiberger. Quick set to Cooper, off of one Bulldog, popped back up in the air. Bangy from the far side, blocked at the net, but it'll drop on the Indian side for the point. Yeah, Bangy did a great job that time. Got good height as she was coming over. You saw Cooper come up trying to get the block at the net, but just too much on that one. Bulldogs trail by three as Bangy serves. Just over that tape. Back set, Cooper. Big swing up high and down hard on the thunderous kill. Throws the lead back out to four. And now Kelly Cooper. Serving. Shrinks the lead to three. Smiley Sapp will serve for the Bulldogs now. Sapp, a six foot one junior, sends it away. Come out by Freiberger in the back row. Hutchins takes a run and cut at it, blocked by Kanapke at the net. Freiberger free balls it off a of Bulldog off the wall for the point. Shawnee might have got a little bit of a break that time as Kaiser went to get that one. Looked like it might have been going out if she would have let that one continue. Now Burris serving. Knuckleball in a perfect placement. Kaiser, Kanapke blocked at the net. There's another one blocked at the net. That one by Hutchins. She'll try to cut it down the far sideline. Kept alive by Salina. In a tough spot, Michaela Stoner gets it back inside the Twigs. Rudisell, the tip, dug out by Schwederman. Kaiser, quick set, Kanaki. Freiburger's there. Hutchins from the near side. Bangy pops it back in the air. Kaiser, long pass to Stoner. Hung in the air for a while. A great dig by Freiburger, but it goes just a bit long. Tough to handle for the Indians. The point to Salina. Freiburger had to go a long way on the floor to save that one, dig that one out. And it was just a tough angle to judge whether or not that was going to go into the net or be able to save it. Emma Harder serving for the Bulldogs. 5'5 five, five senior defensive specialist. Into the back corner and she'll drop an ace. And just like that, Salina has shrunk the lead. Here in this first set. Harder. Again. Hutchins wide. The ball coming right in our living room. Get an Indian in the net. And now Salinas shrunk the lead to one. A little backspin on that one. Tough to handle. Looking for Hutchins on the far side. Popped it high up into the air into the rafters. Kaiser keeps it alive. Freiberger. Hutchins takes a cut at it. A great job by Solana even to get it back over, literally, in the rafters. Took a couple of bounces, comes back down, but the point goes to Shawnee. Yeah, it might have been Shawnee's point, but the hustle that time. Great job by Kaiser keeping her focus as that one was bouncing around just to give her team a chance. Hutchins, the swing. Or serve, I beg your pardon. Bulldogs, get it over. That's the pass. Far side, dug out by Bangy in the back row. Kaiser, quick set, Kanapke got the fingertips on it. Indians chasing it and get it up over. 
What a great play by Shawnee as Stoner blocked it to net, dropped down for the point. Seen some great hustle plays here early yes, in this first set out of both teams. You Solana. can tell they know how important this matchup is. Oh, absolutely. If Solana knows that they can't drop from one and two in the WBL, and Shawnee's got WBL championship aspirations and want to go 9-0 and through the Western Buckeye League. As Stoner tips, pop back up by the Indians. Cross-court pass. Climb the ladder. Rudisil returned, however, as Kanapke in the middle. Didn't hit all of it. Bulldogs say it was touched. Guys in white disagree. Lead grows to four. Every time Salina seems to be getting close here in this first set, Shawnee's had an answer. He will push this back out to a four-point lead. Kaiser, Stoner, the swing. Indians look to set up the middle. Brickner couldn't get it over the tape. Point to the Bulldogs. Brickner that time just mistimed her jump. 13-10 on the lead, famous recipe scoreboard. A Stoner serves once more. And set up Rudisil, took some off of it. A diving play by Salina, blocked at the net by Ava Kanapke. Allison Schwederman will push it into the back corner and double contact. The volleyball aficionados will tell you if you push the ball like that and it's got spin on it, that's the telltale sign that it's a double contact. And you saw it right there as Grace Freiberger serves into the back corner. Cross court pass to Bangy from Salina. Dug out by Freiberger. Quick set. Cooper climbs the ladder and drops it straight to the wood. Cooper's gotten some rest here about halfway through this set. She's come off the bench ready to go, though. Salina takes the timeout. We'll step aside as well. Indians lead 15 10 here in set number one on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Salina trying to shrink the lead. They trail 15-10 as Grace Freiberger will continue to serve for Shawnee. One of the finer liberos in the area. Sidewind and serve. Cooper just climbs the ladder, and there's absolutely nothing you can do if she gets a hearty cut at it like that. The lead is now six. Yeah, if you see her going up, I don't even know what you ha what you try to do as the opposing team. Sometimes it's just better to get out of the way. I was going to say, it's, you, know, you know, you see like... Uh, Six foot six, 350 pound offensive lineman is going to block a defensive back, and they call that a business decision to get out of the way. I think that's might be sometimes a wise decision when Kelly Cooper gets a look at it like that. It's the Indians tally and ace. Freiberger continuing to serve and continuing to grow that lead. It's now out to seven. Salina took the timeout, but it looks like it was Shawnee that comes out a little bit more fresh and ready to go. Freiberger sends it away one more time, got it just over the top of the tape. Kaiser looks to set Kanapke. Kept alive by the Indians. Rudisil off a of Bulldog and down. Third and kills for the Indians. And out of the timeout, Shawnee puts three straight on the board to grow this lead. Was 10-9 at one point, now 18-10. Freiberger, a perfect placement. And Bangy takes a cut at it, dug out by the Indians. Hutchins. From the back row, hits the top of the tape, kept alive. Kaiser, back set, Kanapke, tried to avoid the block, joust at the net, won by the Bulldogs, and that'll stop the bleeding momentarily. Allison Sweeterman now back on to serve for Salina. The jump serve into the back corner pocket. Looking to set up Cooper, dug out by Sweeterman. Quick set to Sapp, dropped it inside the line for the point. Salina tallies back to back. Military appreciation night here at Salina. They honored all the folks in the gym, served our country. That's served by Schwederman. Gotten over. Maxwell tries to just dump it in the middle of the floor. Bangy from the far side. Cut on. Cooper didn't get a great swing at it. Salina, three in a row. Yeah, you don't see that too often out of Cooper that time. A little bit of a missed time, miss hit. And Salina going on a little bit of a run here to close this gap. Schwederman deep into the back row. 
Cooper, the long cut. Pushed it just long and wide. Salina, after trailing by eight, has trimmed it to four. Aliyah Avers for Salina. They mentioned the pregame. The senior is going to go into the military. Hasn't decided what branch, but a swing in the point for Shawnee there to stop their bleeding for just a moment as Leah Rudisil gets the kill. Throws a lead to five as we approach the closing stages here of game number one. Just out of reach of Harder there on the back line. Couldn't quite get her hand on that one. So. Punched over on to serve. Kaiser chases. Banging the swing. Dug out by the Indians. Cooper in the middle. Blocked it by Sapp. Kaiser quick set to Sapp. And she gives the Indians a taste of their own medicine. Such a fun matchup to watch. Cooper against Sapp. That time Sapp gets a better end of it. She comes up with the block and then able to get the kill at the end of the play. Guys are serving now. Knuckleball into the middle of the back row. Cooper, sidewinder off the block, down for the kill. So the lead back to five for the Indians in this race to 25. Banyu receives his serve. Kaiser, Sapp tips it over with the left hand, pushed over by Maxwell. Kaiser, looking back door to Lily Schreffler. Couldn't get it over. Tipped over and down by Banyu for the point. And now after the point, here Banyu, the daughter of Salina head coach Phil Bangy serving. We're going to shrink this lead even more. Down the far sideline, dug out by Rudisil. Cooper up high, kept alive by the Bulldogs. Bangy just have to roll it over as Kaiser. She did so. Cooper from the middle, long. Lead down to three. Bangy, the 5'9 junior, will send it away once more. Just over the top of the tape, dug out by Freiberger. Long pass to Cooper. Kept alive, Sapp tips it over in the corner pocket. What a great job by Salina here on this last little bit of a run. Down 18-10 at one point. And, you know, they could have folded it up. They could have kind of just said, let's go down the next two. set. Yeah. They didn't. They fought back, got themselves back in this one. Banging down the far sideline. Maxwell chases. Cut over by Sidney Burris. Kaiser dumps it into campfire. Pancake by Shawnee. Rolled over by Burris. Kaiser. Sap didn't get a fingertip on it. Doesn't matter. Went over. Sap cross court pass to Stoner. Swung on it. Dug out by Freiberger on the dive. Hutchins the swing. Cut it. Sweeterman kept it alive. And they'll say it hit the floor. Yeah, late whistle that time, but that clearly hit the floor before Salina was able to get that one back up. Great effort by both sides there a couple of different times. However, the point to Shawnee, and they lead by three at 21-18. Cooper serving. Molly pops it, and she gets the ace. That time it looked like Cooper just wanted to make sure she got that one in. Last time she went right into the net, so got that one a little bit higher, put a little bit a little bit more on it. Not sure Salina was ready for it. Bulldogs take the timeout. We'll keep it here, 22-18. And you mentioned it, Nate, that at one point it was 18-10, and Salina pretty much had every reason to say, all right, well, let's still play hard, but let's pack it up and we'll focus on set number two. They've clawed back, had it as little as two. Now it leads back out to four, but that never say die attitude here from the Bulldogs in set number one. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the defending champs. They know that. Yes, they... They lost a lot from the team last year, but still a lot of girls here with a lot of varsity experience. They know what it's like to be in these dog fights, and you can tell that they still have it, and they did not give up, and it's still an opportunity here uh, in this first set to take it. But Shawnee will continue to serve as Kelly Cooper just got the ace to grow the lead to four. Drops back behind the line to send it away. Cooper awaits the signal. that she's allowed to do so. And now we'll go. She pushed it a little long. Penalty shrinks to three as Miley Sapp will serve. 
Good decision that time by Sweeterman. Last time I think she just got caught off guard by uh, Cooper's serves. That time let it go long, able to get the serve back. Hutchins from the middle, popped alive by the Bulldogs. Sapp gets a hand on it, and they'll get it back over. Shawnee Maxwell set to, Kyle, to Hutchins, I beg your pardon. Blocked and out of play. Which grows the lead to 23-19 on Elise's famous recipe scoreboard. Shawnee will make a substitution. Adding Kriegel comes in a game in exchange for Carly Hutchins. Burris serving for the red and black. Kaiser. Max at Schreffler. Tipped it to that. Kriegel, the swing, popped back up by Schwederman. Kaiser quick sets Kanapke. Freiburger the lead. Indians able to get it back over. Kanapke, the tip, popped alive by Shawnee. Rolled over by Maxwell. Kaiser, quick set Kanapke, up high in the net. To bring us to set point at 24-19, Indians with the advantage. Looking to close out the first set. Punched over. Kaiser, long pass to Kanapke in the middle. Pushed it wide, and Shawnee takes set number one at 25-19. We'll step aside as well, come back with second set action for you here. And Shawnee's got a game in their pocket on WOSN. Today's instant replay sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Shawnee takes game number one, 25-19 over Salina. Bulldogs got the first two points, then Shawnee went on a rally. They led 10 to 8 at one point, 15 to 10, 18 to 10 before Salina stormed back, made it a tight one for a while. Shawnee pulled away in the closing stages of set number one to win 25-19. Yeah, you got to be impressed with how Shawnee closed that one out, too. They got the last final few points with three of their starters sitting on the bench. That just speaks to the depth that this Indian team has. So Shawnee will serve to begin set number two. Grace Freiberger will do the honors. Had an ace there and set number one and served for a while when Shawnee grew their lead. She'll come to the near sideline now to serve. Into the far corner. Dug out by Harder. Schweiner rolls over. We get a double contact. Yes, sir. So one nothing Shawnee on the Elite's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Put in the exact same spot by Freiberger, Stoner, rolls over. Quick set, Cooper, blocked at the net and down. Molly Sapp closed the door. And that's an encouraging sign for the Bulldogs that you're not just gonna let Kelly Cooper take as many hardy cuts as she'd like at the volleyball. Yeah, that was power on power that time as Sapp stood strong as Cooper was bearing down with a really strong hit. and Sapp able to redirect it back on the other side. And then an ace for Hannah Kaiser. Bailey Kaiser, beg your pardon. The sophomore gets things going. She had 18 aces to lead the Bulldogs coming into tonight. Hallie's another one there. And push that one just a little bit long. Saw Hutchins learned off that last one, decided to let that one go. Just like the other one, a little bit long this time, they'll go Shawnee's way. Rudisil punches it. A little trade service errors. 3-2 Bulldogs lead us. Kira Bengi will now do the honors. Bengi, one of the few juniors on the varsity squad for Salina. Tipped over, kept alive by Schreff with a freshman. Maxwell, quick set, Cooper, popped up by Schwederman. Stoner rolls it over. Long set to Burris, Schwederman a dig. Kaiser tries to dump it into campfire. Indians ready. Cooper drops the hammer. Yeah. 
Knocks it up at three apiece on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. I just got a whole new appreciation for that front line of Salina, especially Sack when she <laughs> stands in front of those Cooper shots as that one came right here, right into our doorstep. And man, even all the way back here, still had a lot on it. Sack climbs the ladder, but we got an Indian in the net. And yeah, that, 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 that ball's got some heat on it. Um, and Kelly Cooper generally doesn't switch to the changeup all that often. When you got a fastball like that, you got no reason to go off speed. Hutchins will take a cut of her own. Popped up into the first row of the bleachers. Schreffler chases it down. Bangy, just not enough on it. A great effort. But the point to Shawnee. Schreffler, I think, is in the second row of the bleachers there trying to chase that ball down. Great hustle. Both squads have been leaping and diving, doing whatever they can to keep the ball off the floor. Cooper just over the top of the tape. Kaiser, quick set, Kanaki. Nobody home in the back row. And now Emma Harder will serve. The center of the back row. Maxwell set to Burris, tipped. Kaiser tips it over herself, pancaked by Rudisil. Kaiser, cross-court pass to Kanapke, climbed the ladder, dug out by the Indians. Hutchins takes a hardy cut at it, pushed it just, oh, they'll say it hit the, hit the line. The line of bench not happy with that call. Neither are the Salina fans, but at least from our angle, it did look like it might have just, just got just the edge of that just white line. Kiss that line. Not a popular call. You're looking for some home cooking too in your in your own gymnasium. Now I'll get Ava Kanapke getting the shoe reset. So we're all square at five here in set number two. Shawnee with a game in hand, winning game number one, 25-19, if you're just joining us. Shawnee serving. Got just over in the ace for Burris. So the lead rests with the red and black for the time being. Kaiser able to keep it out of the net. Stoner rolls it over. Freiburger the dig. Back set, Maxwell. Long, well long. Ties it at six. So Michaela Stoner serves the 5'8 senior. In the middle. Hits the top of the tank. Hutchins the dig. And we got... A double contact called against the Indians. So now Salina has a 7-6 lead. So far, neither team really able to go on a run, just back and forth on the scoring, keeping it very close here in the second. Maxwell pushes wide to Hutchins, and she puts a little pace on the swing. All knotted up at seven. It's your right, Nate, going back and forth, back and forth, and Hasn't necessarily been the cleanest volleyball played here in set number two, but we keep the back and forth action going. Bang, long. Gives Shawnee the lead at eight set. Carly Hutchins serves. Ties it at eight. The libero, Allison Schwederman serving. Into the back corner. Maxwell trying to dump it over. Bulldogs ready for it. Kaiser, quick set, sap. Climb the ladder, but it's dug out by the Indians. Jordan got it. Tipped over once more off a couple of Shawnee players in the back row for the point. Give the lead to Salina. Sweeterman just long on a serve. Knots it back up at nine. It has been as back and forth as you can get. 
Yeah, not, not sure if we're seeing you know, kind of that adrenaline dump right now or, or just a little bit of the lack of the focus, but they are both in a little bit of sloppy play on yep. both sides right now. Freiberger from the near corner serving into the far corner for Salina. Kaiser, Sapp took some off of it, dug out by Freiberger. Quick set to Cooper, tucked it inside a line for the point. Just such a difficult thing to handle when you can get a nice set to Kelly Cooper where she can play just above the net. She's just a natural there in that front line. Bulldogs able to get it over as Michaela Stoner serves it. Russell up high, got it to go. Russell didn't have to put a whole lot on it like Cooper did. Just got it off the fingertips, though, of the Bulldogs and landed in no man's land. So the lead grows to three for Shawnee on a little bit of a run here. As Freiberger will continue to serve. Stoner receives. Schwederman cross court pass to Bangy into the front near corner. Cooper, quick set, down. Freiberger goes to send it away. It's a pass, the far side to Bangy. Never got a little over the top of the tape. Lead four for Shawnee on the Leeds Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Salina wants to talk about it. We'll take a timeout as well. 13-9 here in set number two. Shawnee leads 1-0 on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. I did not eat before I came over here tonight. I got to tell you, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken would hit the spot. Get a couple pieces of chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, maybe potato wedges, mac and cheese, extra biscuit. But who's counting? It's the... <laughs> Lead shrinks to three for the Indians on the air. That's getting to be a little bit of a late night if you haven't had dinner. It's, you know, we also saw some excellent all the way from the freshman game. I was going to say, had a three-game freshman game, a three-game JV game. game. The two of the games in the JV game went to extra points. Man, these two squads from top to bottom very well matched. Evenly matched. As Kaiser serves. Cooper takes some off of it. Sapp will push it over, trying to get it in the back corner. Kept alive by the Indians. Hutchins will just dump it over. Schwederman, quick set. Sapp pushed it long. Sapp had a good look and an open lane at it. Just got a little bit too much on it. Got a little excited there. So the lead remains four. As Shawnee's able to stabilize that lead here for just a moment. Kaiser, Sapp up high and down hard. There's just no defense when you get a set like that. A great placement by Kaiser and the athleticism and the size from Sapp on display. Yeah, Sapp wasn't going to miss that twice in a row. Bangy serving. Maxwell goes and chases. Indians have to settle for the cut and get the point. Got the tip. It's Sidney Burris. Looked like she just was settling for getting it between the lines. Touched and down, and a lead back out to four. Into the back row, Schwederman, quick set, Sapp, got it off the net. Indians keep it alive, Hutchins, a hearty swing. Stoner, push it in the back row, dug out by Freiberger. Maxwell, pass to Hutchins, sends it down the near sideline and in. Great misdirection that time by Hutchins. Let her eyes make it look like she was going to go to the far back corner and change it to last minute to get it on the near side. And Salina just wasn't ready. And able to change the decision in the air. It's a fantastic play as we serve. Deep, sap up high and down hard. She's starting to feel it a little bit. You see the intensity from number six. Yeah, unfortunately, not much Maxwell could do with that one. Just kind of tried to brace herself. Try to get a piece of it, but too much spin. 
Rudisil receives. Cooper from the far side blocked. Dug out. Indians have to get it over. Duel. Kaiser's there. Bangy. Schreffler got the tip. Kept alive by Shawnee. A great defensive play. Kaiser, quick set, Kanapke. Poked back up in the air by the Indians. Burris down the near line. And it'll drop for the point. Lead. Now five for Shawnee on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. As Cooper serves. Knuckleball. Tough to handle. Solana can't the ace for Shawnee and Kelly Cooper. Just sent it away once more. Kaiser, quick set, Kanapke, tucked it inside the line. 18-13 as we approach the final stages here of set number two. Set number one with the Indians' way of 25-19. Salina looks to shrink that gap. Emma Harder punches it away. Double contact on Maxwell. Oh, no, they'll say one of the Indians in the net. Yeah, it looks like Maxwell maybe just got a little bit too deep on that one. Tough serve from Harder, and quickly the lead shrinks some more to three at 18-15. And uh, Burris at the time changed her mind quickly right there as the ball was approaching it. They're so, trying to move it underhand, but had to change. Right, it's, it's just so many things you got to pick up on the serve that if you are indecisive at all, you're in a tough spot. As Maxwell back sets Hutchins, couldn't get it over the tape. The lead now down to two, three straight for the Bulldogs. In 18-16, on Lee's famous recipe, chicken scoreboard. Hutchins, the swing. Popped it off the air duct for the point for Shawnee. Hutchins that time just got a little bit more on that one. Wanted to get a little higher, a little stronger hit. Didn't want that one going into the net. Shawnee now at the three-point lead, but... We've seen Salina been able to answer. Indians push along. Shrink Saline back to two at 19-17. And Michaela Stoner will look to shrink it even more. Looks to send it away. Down the far sideline. Maxwell will chase. Freiberger, free ball's over. Kaiser, quick set, Kanapke, punch back up in the air by Maggie Jordan. Indians try to dump it over, and they're called for the double contact. Yeah, something happened, uh, some miscommunication as Kriegel just kind of got lost there in front of the net, and her and Hutchins um, were in pretty close contact, if not running into each other. That's caused that double contact by Hutchins. One point lead for Shawnee now, as Brentner blocked at the net. Kanapke tips over and down, and we are all square at 19. Miner right now trying to take advantage of Kelly Cooper not being out on the floor. That one just long. Makes it 2019 Shawnee. It was 13-9 at one point. Indians had grown the lead to as many as five at 18-13. Salina's furious comeback here. Making a ball game. Here's we hit the closing stages of set number two. Kaiser. Kanapke. The tip. Dug out by Jordan. And we get a Bulldog into that. on the floor for the Indians as Leah Russo comes back in in exchange for Addie Kriegel. Carly Hutchins serves. Stung it just over the top of the net. Serve received. Goes back to Shawnee. Behind the 10-foot line for Hutchins. Kaiser tips it over. Punched back up in the air on the pancake by Jordan. Kaiser to the wide side. Bang swing. Kept alive. Hutchins rolls. From behind the 10 foot line. Kaiser has to run and chase. Salina settles for rolling it over. They do. 
Freiberger tipped at the net by Kanapke. Kaiser, quick set to Kanapke, and number 20 has got another kill to make it 21-20. Great effort on that one by Salina. Had to make a couple of saves to get that one and continue that rally, but come away with a big point. Bulldogs looking to tie it up at 21. Schwederman. Lollipop, knuckle ball into the back corner. Maxwell tries to dump it into campfire. Sat got her fingertips on it. That changed the trajectory, and it grows the lead to two. Indians looking to close out game number two and take a 2 nothing lead. Salida trying to square things up at one apiece in the sets. As Freiberger hugs on the near sideline. Poked up in the air by Harder. Bangy, miss hits, makes it 23-20. Salina will take a timeout. We'll step aside as well with the break in the action. Conclusion is set number two coming up here on WLSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Salina looking to stave off elimination here in set number two as Shawnee leads 23-20. Out of the timeout for the Bulldogs, Grace Freiberger serving for Shawnee into the back row. Kaiser, quick set sap, pushes it over. Indians are there. Kelly Cooper climbs the ladder, but it's blocked by Molly Sapp. Huge block by Sapp right there as Cooper looked like she was thinking she was going to put this one point away. Instead, the lead shrinks to two. But Haley Kaiser, the sophomore, preparing to serve for the green and white. Maxwell looking for Rudisil. Through the block. Kaiser tipped it over by Sapp, kept alive. Kaiser, back set, Schreffler blocked at the net, and it will drop to force set point. You saw them try to move that ball to the back side to keep it away from Cooper that time, but Russo did a great job of getting up, getting that block. 24-21. Rudisil serving, looking to take the set. Punched over, knuckleball, received by Schwederman. Rolled over. Indians finish off set number two with a 25-21 win over Salina. And they'll take a commanding two games to one lead over the Bulldogs. Today's instant replay sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Salina trailing two games to none here against the Shawnee Indians. Shawnee won set one at 25-19, set two, 25-21. And in each set, Salina had found themselves down, but have scratched and clawed their way back to make each one of them a game. We'll see how they start here in set number three. So we get the lineups checked and right, make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. Set two definitely looked like a different Salina team than in set one, and really thought that they were going to be able to kind of get over that hump on a couple of different plays. But some sloppy play on both sides. They gave up some serves when they had some of that momentum, and that really, in the end, ended up kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Allison Schwederman, the libero, will get on the floor for Salina, as will Grace Freiberger for Shawnee. Stoner will begin serving for the Bulldogs as they trail two games to one here in this Western Buckeye League matchup. Shawnee 2-0 on the season in the Western Buckeye League. Salina 1-1 after dropping the season opener to St. Mary's. As Leah Rudisil the kill from the near side to the far corner. And point number one of set number three goes to number 14. Shawnee looks like they just got a little bit of extra pep in their step. Got to think it would mean a little bit extra for them to be able to take this with three sets to none. Freiberger stings it over the top of the tape. And the ace makes it 2 nothing. Freiberger. Knuckleball in the back corner. Chased down by Harder. Back-to-back -back aces for the Indians. 
Makes it 3-0. Not the start you want to see for Bulldog for the Bulldog faithful. As Freiberger continues to serve. Knuckleball. Three straight aces for Shawnee. Freiberger just putting him in the perfect spots where you make the Salina defender either make the wrong choice and play it or make the wrong choice and watch it drop. Coming into tonight, 114 serve attempts for Freiberger. She is the go-to for this Indians team. Kanapke to swing. Kept alive by the Indians. Cooper blocked by Kanapke at the net. Tipped back over and down by Maxwell for the point. Time you can see Maxwell just not doing a whole lot with that one. Just nice light touch into the open space. Freiberger continues to serve. It's 5-0 Shawnee here on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Punched over. Kaiser gives to Kanafke. Kept alive by the Indians. Rudisil blocked and down. Runs a score to six, nothing Shawnee, as Freiberger continues in that serving spot. Set number three, all Shawnee so far. As the Indians go to send it away once more. Down the far sideline, Kaiser. Back sets Kanapke, blocked him down, make it seven, nothing Indians, and the Bulldogs want the timeout. We'll step aside as well, we'll win them. All in Shawnee's favor here in set number three on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Shawnee fans like the score on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard at 7 0 here in set number three with the Indians in two games in hand. Freiberger continues to serve. Got. Ooh. I don't know, I might have got the line, but. Might be a uh, little bit of a give back for me. <laughs> yes, I said earlier. First point of the set goes to Salina to stop the bleeding out of that timeout. Cooper. Throws the lead right back to seven with a thunderous kill. Tell you what, it is easy to see why Shawnee has been so dominant this year. They've only lost two sets, or excuse me, three sets all season, and that was that three-set loss to Coldwater earlier in the year. They have yet to lose a set in the WBL. And it, there's depth, there's power, there's accuracy. Yeah. There's a little bit of everything from this Indian team. Couldn't get it between the twigs. Makes it 9-1. Shawnee is Rudisil. Drops back to serve. Schwederman to receive. Kaiser, back set to Sap. Found an open spot on the floor. Took some off of it. And now Kaiser will serve. Trailing by seven here in set number three. Just a sophomore, averages just under 10 assists a set. The Indians dump it over into the far corner in the front row. Schreffler blocked at the net, drops back on the Salina side. Cooper combines at the top of the tape to send it right back to the Bulldogs. Served by Maxwell, received in the back row. Back set, Sapp for the kill. I guess quick set rather than back set, but Miley Sapp, another kill for the Bulldogs. Bangy set to serve from the far corner. Puts it in the middle of the back row. Hutchins takes a cut, blocked by Miley Sapp and Michaela Stoner. Just closed the window. There was nowhere that ball could go for the point. See Hutchins still down. Looked like she landed a little awkward as she came up with that spike. And I'm not sure if she's just cramping or, or what's going on, but it was an awkward fall as Sapp was able to knock that one away. We'll step aside. 10-4 the score. Salina trails Shawnee. We'll come back with more third set action here on WOSN.
Carly Hutchins able to leave the floor under her own power. Like to see that after the injury timeout. Shawnee leads 10-4 here in set number three, and Addie Kriegel will come on the floor now for the Indians. Hutchins been imperative here tonight for the Indians in a couple of different aspects. Yes, Kira Bengi. Serves for the Bulldogs. Cooper, the far swing. Pop back up in the air. Allison Schwederman chases it down. Kaiser rolls it over. Maxwell, quick set. Cooper, nowhere to go. And they'll say it's wide, and a point goes to Salina. And I'm fairly certain that Cooper just broke three of my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's Man, she can get there. a hold of that ball. Freiberger receives the serve. Cooper pushed it just long. Oh, the tip. And that's the 2,000th assist for Addie Maxwell. Tremendous accomplishment by Maxwell, averaging just over nine a set. And a big accomplishment for her as she gets her 2,000th here tonight. 11-5 the score. Stoner, the swing. And the kill. I'll call prolonged contact on Shawnee, but for all intents and purposes, the swing. And the kill. Need down to five. Salina trying to claw back. Brickner blocked, kept alive by the Indians, pushed over. Kanapke receives. Kaiser right back to Kanapke, tried to put it in a corner pocket. Back set. Burris has to settle for just getting it over. Bangy pops it back to Shawnee side. Freiberger to Kriegel, finds the floor. Addie Kriegel. And well, that all started with a great save. And Shawnee just able to get that one over and got themselves reset. Kriegel, who just came in, able to get the big kill. Doubling up the Bulldogs at 12-6. Into the back row, Bangy receives. Stoner rolls it over. Maxwell. I get an Indian in the net. So the lead down to five. Shawnee scored the first seven points of the set. Led 10-4 after the injury timeout. And Emma Harder punches it into the far corner. Tough to receive. Indian's able to get it over, and it'll drop. Harder just misjudged that one a little bit. It's over top of it instead of underneath it. So. Kriegel serving now. A defensive specialist. Long pass from Harder to Stoner. Too much sauce on it. It's 14-7. On the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Kriegel down a far sideline. Kaiser, quick sets Kanapke. Climb the ladder, but it's dug out. Kanapke, another shot. Indians roll it over. Kaiser looks for Kanapke one more time. Blocked, dug out by Freiberger. Looking for Rudisil. Cuts it down the far side. Got it in the corner. Oh. That, that, uh, ball, that ball's in, and I think they're... And we even saw the reaction from the Salina bench. A little surprised that that one had gotten called out. Yeah, that, that ball's in. Makes it 15-7. Indians lead back out to eight. Today's instant replay sponsor, Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Stoner climbs the ladder. Can't tuck it in that line. Well, tipped. We got an official saying it's tipped. So the point to the Bulldogs. So Stoner drops back to serve again. Trailing by eight. And she gets the ace. Indians thought it was going wide. Inside the sideline on the far side. 
Good to see Carly Hutchins coming back into the game. Yes, absolutely. Just leaned it a little awkwardly earlier in the set. Stoner, the serve. And another, that's four. That's four hits. <laughs> Some miscommunication <laughs> yeah, here happening. It's absolutely four hits. <laughs> so the point to Salina. Shrinks the lead to five. So we'll all regroup here in set number three. Brickner blocked at the net by Kanapke. Indians keep it alive. Nobody home and the point to Shawnee. Bruta still did a great job that time. There wasn't a lot of space there, but somehow managed to fit it through. Got it down for the point. Now Kelly Cooper comes back on the floor for Shawnee. In that front row. As Freiberger serves, that's a deadly combination for the Indians. Cross-court pass, tipped over and down by Kanapke. Took some heat off of it. Found a spot right in the middle of the floor. Salonic. Keeps hanging around. This at that time, not, not going to see Sweeterman put it in the net too often. 17-11. Shawnee with two games in hand. Kaiser quick set sap, but it's blocked by Cooper. And drops to the floor. It's that matchup that we've watched all night long. They've gone back and forth. They've both gotten the better of each other at certain points, but that time it was all Cooper. We'll step aside with the break in the action and a break here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Shawnee serving with a seven-point advantage, 18-11. Indians yet to take a timeout so far here tonight. Bulldogs have exhausted all of theirs. As Leah Rudisil will serve into the back row. Stoner climbs the ladder, pushed it long, and makes it 19 11. The Miners found themselves down with this deficit before. Uh, back in the first set and able to climb back in it. Kaiser. Gonna need to get to work. Tipped over by Sapp. Indians chasing. Get it back over. Maxwell rolled it. Kaiser. Back set. Sapp. Got the top of the tape. As Schwederman just pops it over. Cooper. Nope. Dumped over by Maxwell. Schwederman tries to put it in a corner pocket. Instead, Maxwell quick set. Cooper. Blocked by Sapp and down. Sapp and Cooper continuing to go back and forth with each other. That time, Sapp with the big block to get the point. She's got a couple of times where she's closed that window and gotten the point for Salina. Bulldogs still trail by seven here as we hit the closing stages of set number three. Maxwell, high set to Rudisil in the back row. Had to attack it from behind the 10-foot line. Sapp up high, kept alive by the Indians. Rolled over, Kaiser. Cross court pass to Bangy, pushed it long. Say you want to be the first to 10, 15, 20, and 25. Shawnee is the first to 20 here in set number three with an eight point advantage and five to go. Maxwell, back row. Sap, dug out by Freiberger, pushed over into the perfect placement. I mean, how about that placement? I mean, you couldn't have you couldn't have walked it over and placed it down any better than that right there. Just in the perfect corner spot. Nobody home makes it 21-12 as Shawnee tries to close this out. Lolly popped into the middle of the back row. Kaiser quick set sap down for the kill. Dengi to serve. Now we'll come to the near side to serve instead. Put too much mustard on it. Lead back to nine, 21-12. 
22-13 Shawnee. Cooper to serve. Lyle had popped. Back set. Stoner pushes it over. Indians there. Maxwell. Pass to Burris. Never got over the top of the tick. Slider not going away. Still just trying to chip away. Getting themselves just a little bit closer. Trying to take it one bite at a time. As Sapp serves. Cross court pass. Brickner blocked. Kept alive by the Indians. They'll get it over. Kaiser. Kanapke. Dug out by Freiberger. Maxwell. Back set. Poked high in the air by Kaiser. Bengi bumps it over. Quick set. Brickner. Kept alive by the Bulldogs, but Sapp on the run. Couldn't get a great handle on it with the left hand. Just in a tough spot where you're chasing that ball, and the only thing you got to do is take a shot in the dark at it. Yeah, trying to go offhand. Ashley's going backwards over her shoulder and just couldn't get any of it. Burris, the serve. Kaiser looks for Kanapke. Got up and down. Make it 23 15. Shawnee looks to close it out. Maggie Jordan back on the floor. As Emma Harder will come on to serve for Salina. Harder, the senior, gets it over the top of the tape. Jordan, the receive. Cut on by Kriegel. Stoner, the cut, drops it to the floor. So Harder will continue to serve as Salina just chips away at the lead. Trying to get there before time runs out. Harder into the corner for the ace. Emma Harder puts a couple of points on the board. And the lead is six. Bulldogs would love to see another one. And do. Harder seems to have found her favorite spot as she's repeatedly going to that same spot on the floor. They've been able to cash in time and time again to get this one back within five. The lead, 23-18. Shawnee scored the first seven points. Have led consistently throughout here in set number three. Harder pushed that one wide to bring up match point. Hutchins has just checked in. You know that Harder saw that. Kind of wanted to get it into a better spot. And just pushed it too far. 24-18. Carly Hutchins serving for the win. Quick set, Kanapke poked over, kept alive on a pancake by Hutchins. Shawnee able to roll it over. Rudisil into the back row, Bulldogs. Kanapke, the quick set, kept alive and down to stave off elimination. Mine just won't go away, they're not ready to give up yet. Keeping this close. 24-19, still match point. Stoner into the back row. Quick set, dumped over, kept alive by the Bulldogs. Don't want to go home just yet. Freiberger, Maxwell, cross-court pass. Rudisil, kept alive on the dig by Schwederman. Bangy, knuckleballs it into the near corner. Climb the ladder, blocked, down, and the match goes to Shawnee on a kill by Leah Rudisil. Rudisil did a great job. As she's done a fantastic job on the near side of the net. Able to get that one at a great angle to finish this one off. And I'll tell you what, an impressive win by Shawnee. They have continued to not lose a set in the WBL as they sit atop, undefeated at 3-0. They are now 7-1 on the season. As Nate said, 3-0 in the Western Buckeye League. Salina will drop to 4-5 and 1-2 and and in the WBL. Shawnee takes set number one, 25-19. They win set number two, 25-21. And they win set number three by that familiar 25-19 score. So that'll do it from us here in Salina for our fantastic WOSN crew. And Nate Garlock, I'm Garrett C. Wright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN. <laughs>